Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching. If you would please like this video and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification at the top. Share this video if you find it helpful. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, use that comment box down below and then check the description box to links to the items that I'm gonna show you today. I made a bunch of junk journals, three technically, on Monday, July the 22nd during my live stream using the Sea Breeze Digital Kit by Calico Collage. And I thought I would flip through the, the journals to kind of show you what they look like. So this one is the designated cover that comes in the kit, and I printed it on linen cardstock about 80 pound I guess and then on the inside I just chose different pages for the inside and then some of the pages in here I printed four of these two-sided pages so I guess it would be eight of the images that are in this kit this is a stencil of mine so here's what it looks like when you spray through the stencil that's mopping up the stencil and then that's what the actual stencil design is and that is the net stencil this is a rubber stamp it's called swaying palm I believe this is a new fussy cut words by calico collage so if you go to calico collage and you type in C you'll see all the C themed items that she has using some of the kit this was a rubber stamp called sandpipers by beeline designs and then when the little word serenity and on this side i used the swaying palm green again and used uh, live each moment on this side i use a dictionary page and then i took one of the journal pages and cut it in half and folded it over edge to make a pocket this is some fussy cut element out of the kit some more fussy cut this I used the circle stencil and spray tattered angels and I thought it kind of looked like bubbles and I thought that would fit for a sea themed. Some more of the fussy cut elements, another one of the printed pages from the kit, some more fussy cut items. This is the lace stenciled and sprayed with tattered angels glimmer mist. This is a little one inch squares that are available from Calico Collage. Again, the text little words. And I have a tutorial that shows how to make this journal page, including the journal card using the starfish from the shell cube rubber stamp. I thought it matched perfectly. And then I showed how to take a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and basically fold it up so that you have a ton of journaling space. You could possibly even glue some photos on there or other little things that you want to add as well. And I made this little tab on the front to hold it together. I thought it was kind of cute. Another little journal card I made. This is a tutorial on that. And that's an alphabet stamp that I use there. Love the lighthouse. Another anchor stamp from Beeline Designs. And I used the feathery behind the fish. I thought that just gave it a neat color and texture, especially with the bubbles in the background. I made an altered paper clip. Basically, I just took an artist trading card and folded it in half. I inked it with distress inks. I added a little bit of some cheesecloth that I sprayed with Tattered Angels. And then another one of those one inch little squares from Calico Collage journal card. I stamped on top of scrapbook paper and I just thought that looked really neat as this is coming off the beach. Another one of the pages. This is the center. Use the sandpiper again. Stencil again. Another rubber stamp. This is the Charlotte rubber stamp. Wishing you a wishing you calm seas and gentle breezes. A belly band. This comes with the kit. This comes with the kit. I made these little journal cards. There's a tutorial that shows how to make those. And then some more of the stamping and using the elements from the kit. This is just a scrap that I had left over, so I just stuck it in here. Trying to use it up because I have so many things on my desk that I need to use up. Here I made a little journaling card. These are new things that I have in my shop. I have these little chipboard pieces and you get two seahorses, you get two mermaids, you get two anchors, you get four starfish. There's a total of 10 
little chipboard elements and I show kind of how to do that in the live tutorial. And then there's the last page and I signed it. All right, so let's go to the next one. We'll go through this really fast because you've kind of seen some of the things already, but they are a little bit different. Here's the mermaid and I made a little journaling card using the cheesecloth. Stamp the Charlotte again. The word journal, that's another rubber stamp in my shop. This time I used this fish on top of the feathery, kind of looking like a seaweed, if you will. And there's pockets here. Another one of the fold-up letters. I love the little bright colors that are in this kit. It's so fun. This time I used the little uh, Mariner's Compass here and then added one of the little one-inch squares from Calco Collage. This comes in the Seabreeze kit. This is a rubber stamp again. Hunt for shells. The sea calls to me. Near the sea, we forget to count the days. I stamped that on there. Another altered paper clip. So you can add some more goodies to that. Stamped a starfish down the side of the page. And then there's the back cover. And then here's the last one. This time I used one of the lighthouse images. That's a journal page as the cover. And then I used the hibiscus on the front inside. This is a pocket because when my printer was printing these, it jammed. And so I didn't want to waste the page. So I just glued another one to the back side. So there's a little hidden pocket there. Stamp the little shells across the bottom here because I thought it kind of matched, you know, the theme. Little tag. Love the images that Norella chose for this beach themed sea breezes. I repeated the image there. Another altered paper clip. Lots of fun. I made this little journaling card tuck spot uh, using one of the fussy cut items and then some distress inks there. And then here's another little journaling card I used with the seahorse and the anchor. It says, go for a swim. Walk on the beach. Things I love to do when I go to the ocean. Lots of fun things in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing these journals. I hope that you can come join us during one of the live streams and see how I put the journals together live and also have an opportunity to win prizes. I usually have lots of little giveaways, including a raffle at the end for the journal that I'm making. I love the seashells down the side. Collect seashells. It's another pocket page. This is the one that it started to print and then it jammed and I just said, I'll just glue it on there. And there's the back. All right. Well, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check out my blog post to see some close-up photos as well as the products that I use. All right, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye.